These sims also are on Rotten Tomatoes, all now giving the Black Panther a bad review just because. Wow. Tell them I've arrived here. See them holding up the sign, yeah. What's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the dark side because I'm showing you guys some more custom traits I found on the interwebs, of course, from my favorite trait creators as well. They've been hard at work since my last video. If you guys did not see my first video of custom traits, I'll link it up in the icon for you guys. Go ahead and check that out. But we are here with our favorite test subjects. Well, test family and it's huh. Gia. I just updated her I'm not updated I just grew her up to a young adult because the next month I'm gonna be you know checking on my channel will need her to be a young adult so I don't get any flat for it I'm just you know going in advance but if you haven't already, you're completely new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you really like this content, give it a big thumbs up. But let's go ahead and get into it. So there are like, this basically it's two, I think two or three creators. I don't really know right now. It's like, it's a ton of them. So please, if I do not get your, if I don't say your name, please don't get at me. But the first one I want to go ahead and check out is Movie Freak. These Sims absolutely love to watch movies. We have Jeremy. This is the trait for that sim that does things that make you ask yourself, why in the world would anybody do that? This sim is a sim that would suggest that you should cliff dive off a random cliff in the middle of nowhere where they would be no medical help available. Oh, um, let's not be friends with Jeremy. This is a sim that anytime time you hang out with them, you have a crazy story to tell. This sim is most definitely the most interesting sim that you could ever have in your game. Uh -huh. This sim is friendly, funny, loves animals, and has lots of drinks. Okay, you know what? Let's be friends with Jeremy. We just won't follow Jeremy anywhere. That's what we won't be doing. Uh, I don't know. Generalized, okay. Generalized anxiety disorder. These sims experience excessive anxiety and worry. Okay, I know a lot of people do not like it when people with creators make, uh like actual disorder traits but guess what it's life if you don't like it don't you don't have to download it if it's triggering you don't have to download it just take yourself out of that situation okay some people may want that more realistic for you know storytelling and things like that let them play how they want to you cannot tell how other people how to play their sims all right you got a problem with it take it in the comments and yeah I won't. I probably won't respond. But yeah, go ahead and vent out. I can't tell you not to vent out your feelings and shit. But yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Okay, that's my stance on it. Uh, let's see. So I won't read that one, but you. But you know it's there. Okay. All right. Do I? Is positive and negative one of these things? These things are very negative. The, they ruin lots of relationships because of their negativity. And then positive, these sins are really positive. They build relationships quickly and make sins around them happy. Now, let me check real quick because I have a, you know, let me just see. Okay, yeah, so these are two of the new ones as well. All the traits I mentioned will be in the description box. So you guys go ahead and download whatever you want to download. We have Handy. These sins are naturally known what to do when it comes to repairing things and because they repair things easily. Some of these traits do resemble some that we already currently have so i'm gonna go ahead and throw that out there that was just my opinion natural cook i've had natural cook before this is from a different creator um just fyi these sims are naturals when it comes to cooking they cook right from their hearts and because of that they will build friendships and relationships quickly because of their delicious food pyromaniac which I low-key think gri G Gria. it's like mm. grace and the real reaper put together gia would be i think you know what low-key i think i am a little pyromaniac because i love fire man fire is life fire gives you life okay let me stop these sims love fire and the smell of smoke sends these sims into pure ecstasy ah, i got a little bit of you know asthma i don't think i'm with that part but yes i do like you know lighting the fire and just looking at it and going deep into my soul and shit if you do that too Ah. Give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> uh, spa lover. This trait is for Sims who have a major appreciation and love for the spa and being spiritual. Sporty. These Sims love to watch and play sports. They do amazing in our in at the in the athletic and secret agent careers. Waterholic. These Sims love water. They love to drink it and be inspired of it. They make amazing swimmers. Let's let's go to the next one. All right. So drowsy. These sims enjoy sleeping and tend to get sleepy often. These sims may end up sleeping their lives away. Low key, that was me today. Like, seriously, I woke up at 2. 
<laughs> I've been waking up late as fuck, y'all. I need to get my life together, okay? Early bird, you know, early bird gets the worm. I'm so corny. Leave me alone. Early bird sims love to get out of the bed early and spend their mornings being productive. Don't expect them to stay up too late, though. Erratic is, I don't know, is erratic here already? These sims can talk to themselves and have unpredictable emotions. I don't, I think that's, you know, yeah, I think that's one of them. Good parent. These sims are natural good parents. They build friendships, relationships, and the parenting skill fast. Got homeboy. These sims love being at home. They'd rather be at home than out socializing. Um, I think, is lazy? I think lazy is one of these. If not, you know, just, just ignore it. Ah. These sims gain powerful bullets from watching TV or napping as well as from comfortable furniture, become fatigued more quickly from exercise, and grow tense when performing household chores. We have naturally sim. These sims have a high metabolism, which means they do, oh, slim. I can't read. They can't, they, means they do not keep weight on and tap. In fact, these sims lose weight rather quickly. Lord, I wish I had that right now. <laughs> Naturally, think these sims have a slow metabolism, which means they gain weight quickly. Okay, okay, I see it. I see it. We have party. Oh, night owls. Some sims just love the nightlife. Night owls love to stay up late at night and rock it out until the early hours, but don't expect them to get up too early in the morning. Party animal. Parties, nightlife, any leftover pizza from the night before. Sims with this trait love to hang out at night love to hang out at nightclubs and spend their evening drinking and dancing with friends just make sure they don't drink too much we got piggy these sons really love food and are willing to accept the consequences of overeating same they are happy when they are eating food same and get hungry faster than other sims same the struggle is real okay the struggle is so real all right, the next one we got bothered. And this is the trait for the Sims that report other Sims patrons simply because they have one follow. There are hundreds of files that is Patreon exclusive. These Sims feel that they need to pick all creators that focus on Afrocentric content but completely ignore the users that don't. These Sims also are on Rotten Tomatoes, all now giving the Black Panther a bad review just because. Wow. The shade. Damn. Moving on. <sighs> Moving on, Hotepish. This sim is this trait is for the Sims who base their perspective off of the findings of Dr. Umar Johnson and Yada. I've never heard of them, so don't come at me. When asked why they believe the ridiculous perspectives that they do, the Sim says, "Do research rather than providing a solid source." When Sim, when another Sim does the research, they never find any solid sources. Thus, the Sim simply tells them, "You just aren't seeing with your with your third eye." Modest. These Sims are not prideful, nor are they egotistic. They take great pride in dressing nicely and are kind, helpful but do not allow people to walk over them. We got Pick Misha. What the hell is Pick Misha? This is a trait for those who work every day with a thirst for attention from the same misogynistic, I'm going to do that, piece of shit who will pass you up for the same woman you try and often fail to belittle. Sistergram Baddie. This trait is for the Sims who have a career in social media and work it to the best of their ability. They get hella clout and just leave, live their best lives. Student, being a college student means staying up until 4 a.m. working on a paper and contemplating why you had three weeks to do it, but decide to wait until the very last moment. Being a college student means never checking your bank account because you don't need that negativity in your life, right? The strong, yes, Lord Jesus, yes. All right, I think that's completely it of what I have. Oh, modest, me, I like me. This is okay, pathetic. I think pathetic. I don't, is pathetic in the game? Is pathetic is the type of sim that will catfish another sim? Oh no, pathetic. Nope, that's a new one. A pathetic sim is the type of sim that will catfish another sim just to get back at them for something insignificant that they said to to the pathetic sims. Freddy even go as far as sending fake nudes, bro. You have to be on a whole another damn level to send some damn fake nudes, okay? A pathetic sim is the type of sim that comes to you as a woman to tell you to stop talking to her man rather than leaving her man, right? Bitch, just go. Just, just wait. Just get out right now. It's the end of you and me. No, nobody listened to JoJo back in the day. Okay, I'll just show myself out. All right. Uh, yeah, that's I think, Yeah, I think that's it. Cause oh, twerk machine. No, yeah, that's it, y'all. All these damn traits. Okay, make sure you go ahead check out the traits that you want to download. 
Um, I think I'm going to give, since I just aged Gia up to a young adult, I'm going to give her student and since the am baddie. Actually, no, I'm going to give her thick because y'all y'all keep saying that Gia is thick and she is kind yeah, she is naturally <laughs> thick. She is toned. I wish I had her body, but I don't. Okay. But yeah, that is the end of this video. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you're completely new and you enjoy the content and you will want more because I have tons more for you to download. That is not a lie and some shit like that. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.